Before we can effectively facilitate anything, we need to understand what that thing is. And so when we seek out to facilitate a drum circle or host a drum circle or nurture a drum circle experience, we need to look at the history, we need to look at the context, the, um, the reasons why it existed, and what people want to get out of it. So to do that, we can look back in American culture because the word drum circle is an American cultural creation. It's a term that people use to refer to a very specific phenomenon of community music making. Um, back in the early 1960s, maybe into the early or late 1950s, but really we see it in the 60s, uh, people would get together in public places, largely, parks, beaches, uh, concerts, concert fest, uh, parking lots, uh, festivals or, or gatherings, and they would want to play, want to play some music together. And so drums were a natural choice. You can have uh, a lot of drums playing together. The music was often very basic, so a lot of people could join in. It was not threatening. You weren't required to you know learn how to sing certain melodies or play certain types of technical instruments. You could just kind of be there and shake a shaker or, or just bang out a basic beat on a drum and you were automatically included. The thing that makes the drum circle unique from other types of drumming, and there are many types of drumming and we'll talk about all forms of community drumming or group drumming, uh, but the thing that makes the drum circle unique is, is the cultural context. It's really a, a democracy um, where people of all ages and abilities could come together and join in this experience. There were no, there was nobody, you know, standing at the gate saying, well, you need to be able to do this and you need to be able to, you know, read music or play your drum to a certain degree of proficiency or any of that. It's just open. Children, adults, uh, men, women, you know, older adults, any, anybody could join in. And anybody could join in when they wanted to and how they wanted to. And this is really important. The drum circle is an open format. It's about community. It's about creating um, a community experience through basic music making. Basic music making. Uh, we like drums and percussion for this. It's outdoors. A lot of these settings were outdoors, so drums are the natural choice. Uh, drumming has, around the world, has typically been done outside. Um, not all drumming, but most of the drumming that we see is done outside, and it lends itself to outdoor venues because drumming is very rhythmic. There's lots of notes. Um, if, if you bring that indoors, it doesn't really work as well. It tends to be kind of um, overbearing for the room, and it can get loud. Um, but outside, where the sound can go and disperse, drums work really well. So we'd see people at gatherings, festivals, outdoor venues, coming together to create music with people they know and with people they don't know. So in that regard, the drum circle is this unique phenomenon that's based on inclusion. It's based on mutual cooperation. It's based on flexibility. You know, people can play, they could dance, they could listen, um, they could sing. They could observe and just be part of it without having to do anything public at all. So there's, there's a whole range and spectrum of ways to participate in a drum circle. You could call it a jam session. Uh, it's sort of like the garage sale of musical experiences. There's a, there's a little bit of everything and there's something for everyone.